bro, my condolences to all these victims in Memphis, out there in Memphis. And it's sad, bro. I got family out there. So if y'all got family in Memphis, man, check on y'all people. Check on y'all people. All right, man. A 19-year-old. 19. Nigga barely old enough to drive. He ain't even legal to drink yet. Nigga just graduating, probably graduating high school if he went to school. You know what I'm saying? He ain't even fully developed as a man. And this nigga out there killing people, bro. Come on, man. Memphis is like another Chicago, bro. Like, just as bad as Chicago. They just killed Dolph not too long ago. And it's crazy. These shorties out there in Memphis, bro, they looking at it like they don't got nobody out there in Memphis that's, that's going to try to speak to the youth. That's going to try to school these young school these young niggas, man. That's going to school them. You know what I mean? They listen to these black youngsters and Money Bag Yo and Key Glock and, and people like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got Yo Gotti. I mean, Yo Gotti is an OG, but he ain't speaking to the... He's not speaking to these young niggas, man. He's not school. He's not giving them game, bro. Y'all, they need to do something in Memphis to try to keep these young dudes out the streets, bro. See, look how young they starting. 19. This dude still, man, I, let's get into the video, man. Let me, let me, let me just uh, give y'all a timeline on what we're down with, shorty. All right, like I said, 19-year-old Ezekiel Kelly, he's now in police custody. But he was on the run for a little minute. They put down a timeline on all his murders, what he did. So first and foremost, I'm going to start. All right, so at 12.56 a.m., 24-year-old man was killed in Lindale and Highland Heights neighborhood. A suspect who called himself Zeke Huncho on social media was developed. He went on social media and was bragging about this shit, everything that he was doing. That's another thing with these shorties, bro. Y'all can't stay off Instagram and Facebook and Snapchat and TikTok. So we don't know what was going on with this, in this little dude here, bro. I don't know if he's mentally out of there or he was going through some stuff in his life. Because that, that can be a factor, too. These young niggas be having so much anger inside them, bro. And they don't got nobody. They have no role models. They have... No older brothers to give them game, give them advice. They just be out there just, just killing and shooting and robbing. So that was his first incident. So then at 4.38 p.m., a man was found shot dead in his vehicle at a gas station in South Parkway. Surveillance video revealed a man in a gray sedan pulled up next to the victim's car and opened fire. That's his second, that's his second murder. Then at 4.40 p.m., a woman was injured in a second shooting in Norris Road near I-240. The suspect fled in the dark sedan. His next incident, 5.59 p.m., Kelly walked into an AutoZone store in the 4,000 block of Jackson Avenue and shot a man while live streaming on Facebook, the man was in critical condition, police said. His next incident, 6.56 p.m., Memphis police put out an alert on a suspect after receiving a call that Kelly was making threats on Facebook. Can't stay off social media, these young niggas, man. 7.23 p.m., a woman was killed in a shooting at a Poplar and Evergreen police and Kelly took her gray SUV and fled. 7.24, man shot at Poplar and Evergreen. 8.55 p.m., a woman shot dead on Range Road. 8.56 p.m., South Haven police responded to a carjacking at State Line Road and Highway 51. Kelly took the man's gray Dodge Challenger and left the scene. The fuck? This little nigga, what he thought he was playing? Grand Theft Auto? GTA? What the hell? 
Bro, this is crazy. Crazy, bro. <laughs> and at 19 years old, I'm telling you, man, we got to do better, bro. We got to do better. I have a son, man, and I just got to I gotta stay on him, man, because we, these young dudes have no guidance, bro. They listen to this NBA young boy. They listen to this, to this ESTG, this 42 Doug, this Lil Dirt, and they be trying to live the life of these rappers that's rapping about this shit that's not even living that life what they rapping about. These rappers that's putting this shit in, our, in, these, in these shorties' heads, bro, they living in gated communities, living their best life, multi-millionaires, mansion parties, hanging with billionaires. They don't realize that this music is actually affecting these kids, bro. This shorty 19 and he carjacking, shoot, drive-by shootings, robbing people. They finally, he's in police custody now. But come on, man. A young dude that could have had a bright future. Could have went to school, could have did anything, bro. That's how he just lived his life. Come on, y'all. I want all... Whoever watched this video, man, show it to y'all to y'all kids, man. Let, let them know that it's y'all need to do, they need to do something better, man. They need to figure out what they're gonna do. Because people is out there dying. He just killed all these innocent people that had nothing to do with nothing. Come on, man. Then it's our own people doing this. We killing each other. I don't know what to say, man. That shit breaks my heart, man. Like, dude was so young, 19, bro. And a killer. Now he finna spend the rest of his life in jail, bro. I hope while he in there, it's an older cat that's gonna give him, you know, that's gonna give him game and have him, you know, turn his life around. You know, he need to pray or something. This is crazy, man. But yeah, let me all, let me know what y'all think about this incident, man. Like, comment, subscribe, push notifications. I'm out.